615 and this morning most of us waking up in the 40s, 50s and 60s. So if you do plan on heading up to Mount Lemmon this weekend for a hike or any of our high terrain, temperatures will be pretty chilly in the morning, so be sure to bundle up, but nice and comfortable in the afternoons. To the South Indies, most of us are in the 50s, 40s for Sasabi, low 60s here in Tucson, so a nice temperature spread, but definitely cooler compared to this time yesterday morning. And high temps today will push into the mid to upper 80s, so feeling warm, but right around where we should be for this time of year. Overnight lows back in the 50s and low 60s. 60s. To the south end east, mainly in the low 80s. Bisbee, though, you could squeeze out a 77, so feeling really nice there with overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. So really nice day up ahead. However, we have a few clouds on the way, and it's just in time for the annular eclipse tomorrow morning, and some of us are going to have an obscured view because of these clouds not clearing out fast enough. So this is 3.30 this afternoon. Clouds will begin to roll through, and they're going to stick around overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And the max viewing of the eclipse here in southeastern Arizona will be around 9.30. 33 in the morning. So this is a look at 930 and those clouds are still hanging over a decent portion of the southeastern corner of the state. So again, we'll have a little bit of an obscured view. These clouds are thin. We might see some breaks in between. So if you live in Sierra Vista, Santa Cruz County, Nogales, Tubac, you might be able to see a little bit of activity. But if you want a sure bet of seeing a clear view of the annular eclipse, head up to Tucson. It looks like the clouds will clear out fast enough here or to areas out towards the west. Places like Sells and Ajo will have a great view of the annular eclipse. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, this is what's happening tomorrow morning. Again, max viewing is at 933. The moon is going to cover about 83% of the sun here in southeastern Arizona and this begins at 812 in the morning. Max coverage is around 933 and then this ends at around 1105. But you have to wear eye protection if you want to look up at the sun, right? But sunglasses do not count. That will not work and you will potentially ruin your eyes. So don't do that. You have to wear proper eclipse glasses, certified eclipse glasses if you want to look up at the sun and watch this phenomenon happen. And the next time we're going to have coverage this good is isn't going to be until uh, 2071, so a while. So be sure to take advantage. I know the U of A is going to have some uh, events and they are selling glasses on site tomorrow as well. This is a look at the coverage, better coverage the farther north that you go and the eclipse path is going to be right through the Four Corners region and that is where you'll be able to see that ring of fire. So you can head up there too by tomorrow morning around 930. Low 90s for your Saturday, upper 90s on Sunday, and then we're getting awfully close to that triple digit mark on Monday. That is also October 16th, which is the latest triple digit day we have on record here in Tucson. We hit 101 back in 2020 and hopefully 2020 will keep that record, but we will keep you updated. Of course, temperatures will drop though into the low 90s by next Thursday. Let's go ahead and get you out.